The iPad now runs full-fledged macOS. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can get it. You do need an M1, M2, or M3, or M4 iPad. This will not work on an iPad with an A-series chip. Now, let me show you right now. All right, so the first thing you want is you want the shortcut down in the description down below. So let me show you what the shortcut does. So basically why we need the shortcut is because this is gonna run some code that was found in iPadOS. So if you click on this right here, all you gotta do is enter the name of the macOS volume. We're gonna call it Macintosh HD. You can just name it whatever you want. You can call it iPad HD or iPad SSD. And then all you gotta do is click on done. So once you click on done, all you gotta do is choose whether you want to upgrade or install. So basically what upgrade will do is it will take any iPad app that you have installed and then we'll check to see on the app store if it's supported or not. And if it is supported, it will carry over. Now, if there's a Mac app equivalent, it will automatically install the Mac version of it. So we're gonna click on the upgrade button. So downloads will happen in the background. You may use your iPad as you wait. And you'll see right here that you have a little progress bar right here. So this is your little progress bar, but of course you just use your iPad however you like. All right, so this does take a little bit as you are seeing right here. Now this is hidden inside of iPadOS and not found in macOS. So this is a different build of macOS Sequoia 15.4. My thinking is that Apple is gonna be announcing this in the coming weeks. I was like one of those press releases like when Apple announced Final Cut Pro for the iPad, for example. However, instead of using the iPad version of Final Cut, you'll be able to use the a full-fledged macOS version of Final Cut Pro. Now I will be discussing some limitations of this once it is done installing and showing you what macOS can do on the iPad. All right, so once you get the restarting iPadOS alert, all you gotta do is click on OK. And then are you sure you wish to restart your iPad? You just wanna click on restart and then it will restart your iPad and then you'll be greeted with macOS. Now this will keep all your files and all of your apps and everything, and basically any app that's on the Mac App Store that is an iPad app will work just fine. All right, let's let it load right here. And as you can see right here, we now have macOS on the iPad. Now, now let's take a look at what it can do. All right, here's full macOS running on an iPad. As you can see right here, it's a little bit glitchy. I think Apple wants to put a little more effort in until they release it. So you can open Final Cut Pro, full-fledged Final Cut Pro. And of course, the touchscreen works just fine. All right, so here's one of my videos right here. All right, so all you gotta do is you gotta take an effect with your finger and put it right there. This is supported on all iPads with the M1 chip or newer. So the new A16 iPad and the iPad mini will not work. You need an M series iPad in order for this to work. Now, thanks for watching. Come on, subscribe, share with your friends. Download my apps, Willy Widgets, Willy Study, and Willy Dreams down in the description down below. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.